Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you my softer jazz voice, because it's really early in the morning. <laughs> but uh, we have a lot of catching up to do and a lot to talk about today. So, uh, first off, while you were away, I built a third room and progressed a couple things. Let's go take a look. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. And hello, friend. And I haven't actually talked to him yet, but I have hired him. So there he is. I also built a appearance modifier thingy because I couldn't progress this quest without doing that. So I have done it, and now I can progress that quest. So let's do that real quick. Oh, we got another movement module. Yay. Uh, I don't know why I just moved it there like that would do something. Oh, that's right. I forgot you could only have uh, a certain amount of these things, and then it just breaks. Totally forgot about that. Um, well, this one looks really good. What's this? I got to... Okay, hold on, hold on. We have to find the worst one in the bunch. Yeah, this is our worst one. So we're going to dismantle this one. Okay. Okay, but then here's the other thing we did. And this requires a little bit of explanation. So first of all, I made these little teleporter pads. So that's going to teleport me here. And this is going to teleport me down. Okay. I working on another pad you can see that there's one right there but i haven't actually finished it yet so i got this little light box and he's like a little connector guy and there's another light box and that my friends is the best it's an electromagnetic generator so i don't know if you remember but when we were in our combat visor we could now look for extra stuff including hot spots and we found this hotspot, and it is a winner. This is what's considered an S-class hotspot. It's as good as it gets. So this one generator is giving us 294 power. Uh, whereas, like, a single solar panel was, like, 45 or something like that. Like, so we dramatically increased our power. But the reason I have these little light boxes, besides the fact that they work good as little conduits for our power connections is that there's actually a limit to how much you can build your base has like an invisible circle around it and you can't build past that invisible circle so here's what happens um okay no hot spots nearby but there is a mining hotspot okay so it's in this direction all right so yep see that see how it just randomly switched to an autonomous mining unit that's because this is one of the few items that you can place outside of your building zone but so right here i'm on the edge of where i can build but if I take this light box, okay, and I build it outside of the edge, look at that, the edge just magically got bigger. <laughs> and that's what you do. You just keep doing that. If you are trying to extend uh, where you go, that's how you do it. You just have to keep adding things. And I'll show you, now that we've extended it, I'll show you how far it extends it. We'll try to go one more distance out. First, let's make sure we're still heading in the right direction for this. And you can jetpack while you're in building mode. You just can't melee. So we can't do, like, the quick type transport thing, which might be another plus side of the boots, the rocket boots from earlier so we ditched them but that might actually make them worth it again should stop 
This should stop working any second now. How are we still inside of the range? It's actually crazy that we're still inside of the range. So I can barely see... I don't even know if I can successfully connect a power thing this far. So I may put something down just because I have to. Let's keep going just because I want to see how far... Where's the... I mean, we are kind of close to the base, too. So, it, oh, there we go. So we're, like, right on the edge already. So we'll just... We'll put a light box up here just because it's on the top of the hill. Makes our lives easier. So, yeah, I used to use... Before the light boxes were a thing, I used to use the... Um, a foundation... Like, I would just place a single floor, and that's how I would extend it. But these are, these light boxes are pretty useful, actually, because they're, they're tremendously cheap. So that's a huge plus. Uh, but also, they light up. <laughs> and that is good, too, because it helps to kind of define your path a little bit, you know? So you can kind of see like where it is you have to go or where you're gonna like end up or whatever and then it also also gives you power connections whereas something random like a floor obviously is not giving you power connections so I love using these things now for extending my boundaries copper But there you go. So this is a copper hotspot. How about that? Industry. I don't even know what it takes. Mineral extractor. Okay. That's not bad. It takes a lot of power, though. Like, 50 power is actually a lot. Um, so before I go building a bunch of these things, like, I'm definitely going to want to make more of the uh, electromagnetic generator thingies. But anyway, so now when I'm out and about, obviously, life is a little simpler. I don't have to walk up a long-ass tunnel. I can just step into my pads. So I got that going for me. <laughs> So I'd really like to see what this armor is going to tell me and what that story quest is going to start. Okay, really quick before I go talk to him. Boom. Galactic trade thingy. Now we can buy and sell stuff right from our base. Uh, it's mostly useful for like, I use it for buying metal plating because I don't want to waste my time with it and then like I can buy like microprocessors and like uh, starship launch fuel like a couple basic things that I might need so it's kind of nice for that but then yeah like if you find anything in your travels you just want to like quickly sell it off you can do it at your base so you don't have to make a special trip to the space station if all you're trying to do is sell off like some BS Whoa. I already have a radiation, but it's a B class. So. I mean, we definitely don't need more than one <laughs> radiation thing. So we'll just destroy the B class for the A class, but we'll take that free. So anyway, so the Vakeen consider themselves. Ooh, that's pretty far. The Vakeen consider themselves the only creatures that are allowed to have guns or weapons of any kind after the quote-unquote atrocities of the Gek. And kind of over time, if you pay attention to the game, you can kind of figure out what the Gek, <clears throat> what the Gek may have done. Um, they definitely weren't always just like the harmless little merchants that they are today. And there was a time that they were pretty nasty. And um, so now the Bikin are all about making sure that there's no 
weapons of any kind. Only the Bikin can have weapons, and once they destroy all the weapons and there's no weapons left in the universe, then the Bikin will turn their weapons on themselves, completing their mission. It's pretty insane. <laughs> but anyway, he wants us to go destroy a illegal weapons factory that he's detected in the area or whatever. So we're going to go do that. But honestly, this is going to jump like way ahead for you guys because I need to collect a lot of resources. So I decided to walk it just so I could collect resources. Now we are so far from the base to find a concentrated cloud of anything is ridiculous. Like there's no way I would set up like a gas thing way the hell out here. It's nowhere near where we're, our uh, base is at. I am curious what it is, but there's no way I would actually like collect it. That would be insane. Oh, oh my god, are you kidding me? It's an S-class oxygen. An S-class oxygen. You know how much freaking money we could make if we had an endless supply of oxygen, bro? So, I could make this, but I need ammonia. But yeah, I can't make an actual thing here. It's too far away from the base, and there's no way I can extend it. Gah. That's frustrating. I mean, I could probably, technically, I'm far enough away that I can make another base. Like, I could put down a base computer, maybe? And literally just make this, like, an oxygen base? Is there a power source nearby? No. See, so that's a problem. <laughs> I changed the factory, so instead of making weapons, it is now manufacturing light bulbs. Nice. See, I I knew I didn't buy this for some reason. I was like, why didn't I research the economy scanner? And then I was like, you know what? I think I get that for free at some point. Totally worth having on your ship. Absolutely awesome. So now whenever we look at the galaxy map, and we look to like the other systems, it'll like scan it ahead of time and give us an idea about the economy of that system. So it, it kind of helps you to decide, you know, if it's if it's a system that you want to go to, if it's something that, you know, is worth your time and trouble. Thank God for these teleporting pads though, man. It just makes getting around insanely easy, you know? It's just so nice. Connection too long. <gasps> Look at that. It's like slightly too long. It like almost reaches. Oh, that's annoying. Well, maybe I'll make it like right here. That way it's like between the power and like where I'm putting the mining thing. That might actually secretly be a good thing because it might make it might make more sense to put it there. So whatever. Right. Right. Whatever. Oh no, it was by that one. We're gonna need another teleport in by in. No teleport by in. Look at that though, it still shows us the gas one, like way out there. See the icon? That's cool. I like that it does that, like once we find one, like it saves it. I mean, we could technically build all the way out there and extend our, uh, our thing, but that would be ridiculous. Where is this this freaking hot spot? Okay, it's like literally like right here, basically. Okay. We're just gonna slap one of these down really quick and power I mean I can, I have enough power to power one for sure. Like it's not gonna destroy us to set up one of them. Okay, so copper. So I mean, it's doing 222 per hour. That's okay. It's a C-class. It's not 
great. And it's copper. It's not something that's super valuable. But uh, copper is turned into chromatic metal, obviously, which that is important to us. Plus, let's just take a note of something really quick. <sighs> I mean... I mean, I mean, technically you can sell it, you know what I mean? But, yeah, it's not going to be much. Okay, can I make a supply container? No. They take a lot of metal plates. So this will hold, this will store 250, uh, like, inside itself. But you can make storage containers so that you can gather a lot more than 250. Um, I just don't know that it's worth it. Like, uh, it's just copper. What I really want is... Oh. Something's nearby. Well, we may as well figure out what this is while we're at it, yeah? Okay, so for this, we literally just need to go into space and pirates will attack us. Easiest pirate battle of my life. I don't think they ever even shot a single shot at me. Okay. So. This mission that he just gave us is actually ridiculous. So. It spawns sentinels that we have to kill. Including... Like one of those giant walker sentinels, which I don't have the firepower to do anything about. Um, at the very least, I would have to install like a grenade launcher or something to like break its armor. I think in the past, I actually managed to get in my ship and just kind of circle around it and like kill it using my ship's weapon systems. I think that's a thing that I did before, but... Anyway, yeah, I remember this being a very, 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 very difficult task, so I may not want to actually pursue it. Ah. Okay, this was my curiosity. I wanted to find out if there was another gas thing nearby besides that one that we found, because it was a Class C nitrogen. It's, like, not really the best, you know? God, it's another Class C nitrogen. This game hates me. Well, I guess we may as well figure out what this deep level mining thing is. Because if it's good, then maybe I'll make like a single nitrogen thing. Just because I have to build in this direction anyway. And then tap into whatever this mining thing is. If it's copper, I don't give a shit. But if it's something better. Yeah. Paraffinium. And it's, and it's a B. I don't, obviously, I don't have paraffinium, so, like, that's not the worst. Is this what you guys were hoping for in today's episode? You were like, you know what I hope he's doing? Prospecting. <laughs> I, I hope Goosey is prospecting today. And then you started it off and you were like, fuck yeah. Look at him prospect. This is what I'm talking about. I signed up for some prospecting. Yeah, it's only a C. I figured if there was a power thing out here, I could tap into that too and just kind of build like a whole little area, but again, not really a lot of potential. <gasps> potential S class for mining. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, boys. We might be getting mineral for the boys. If it's cobalt, I don't give a shit. Fuck, it's copper. God 
Dang it. I mean, it's class S, so that's awesome. <sighs> but it's also not necessary. I mean, because, like, the, the things mine over time, you know? So even, like, a shitty one, like the one that we have, like, it just means it's a low density. So, like, who cares? Like, I don't know. It's just... If it was cobalt, like, I would trip over myself trying to get that set up. But I just don't feel like it's worth my time for copper. Like, I already have a copper spot. If I really want to, I can expand that. It'll mine endlessly. And it's based on in-game time. So, like, every time I come back to play this game, like, after not playing for a day or whatever... You literally just, the first thing you do is, like, go over there and grab all the copper that is stored up because it's going to be maxed out. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, who cares? So it gets 222 per hour, but, like, literally per hour. So, like, because it's not like, like, you know, it's getting it, like, one, two, three. Like, we have to wait for this time in this cycle to end. 38 more minutes. Which means it takes longer than an hour per cycle. Technically, right? So I guess what's happening there is it's literally just going to get the entire 250 like in one go. Right? Okay, well. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take a break from the armor. Never finished the science quest, so I'm going to at least see what he wants really quick and then I want to go to that uh, site that we found and then we'll probably just uh, wrap up the episode there okay so he wants me to take him to a monolith I'm gonna actually just fly is he like physically in my inventory no okay I'm gonna fly to that historical site first and then come back and go to the monolith and help him with all that nonsense. Okay, can we not blow up on a random tree, please? That would be embarrassing. Everything was going fine until he ran into that tree. Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. Seems as though he may have been rebooted. Which may not be great for him. When the hell did I pick this up? <laughs> Holy shit. An S-Class life support module I hon honest to god had no idea that that was there ah <sighs> okay well let me just get rid of that solar panel power and 50% to my I mean 50% to your life support tanks is pretty big but this isn't really like this S well I guess they're both S classes but Dude, everything gives me solar panel power, and I've never figured out why I need that on my person. We really need to look into that. I'm going to look into that. Next episode, I'm going to tell you what's up with that. Because I don't know why that's important, but the really good, like, S-Class life support modules, like, they all do it. So there's got to be a reason. Something about that is awesome, apparently. Uh, okay, well... I'm going to say that's it for today. I'm going to wrap things up here and then... Uh, how long ago? Oh, shoot. No, wait. Really quick. Forgot about this. But yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm going to wrap things up here and then... I'm just going to go check on my freighter because it should be done as mission. But uh, I appreciate everybody coming out today. Uh, a lot of side questing today, obviously. So, uh, you know, we're kind of expanding on those guys' stuff, but we're getting a lot of technology and stuff in the process. And I feel like we're getting pretty close to being able to make, like, really advanced stuff. Also, we did a ton of prospecting, and I can't get that 
S-class oxygen out of my head. I mean, it's just endless wealth. I just feel like I need to set up a facility there. So I might look into that as well. So, and I'm going to figure out this solar panel thing. <laughs> okay. So thanks for coming out, everybody. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.